Soyuz 5, Russian, Soyuz 5, Union 5 was a Soyuz mission using the Soyuz 7 KOK spacecraft launched by the Soviet Union on 15 January 1969, which docked with Soyuz 4 in orbit. It was the first docking of two manned spacecraft of any nation, and the first transfer of crew from one space vehicle to another of any nation, the only time a transfer was accomplished with a spacewalk, two months before the U.S. Apollo 9 mission performed the first internal crew transfer. The flight was also memorable for its dramatic re-entry. The craft service module did not separate, so it entered the atmosphere nose first, leaving cosmonaut Boris Volonov hanging by his restraining straps. As the craft aerobraked, the atmosphere burned through the module. But the craft righted itself before the escape hatch was burned through. Then, the parachute lines tangled and the landing rockets failed, resulting in a hard landing which broke Volonov's teeth. Topic Crew Topic Backup Crew Topic Reserve Crew Topic Mission Parameters Mass: 6,585 kilograms, 14,517 pounds. Perigee: 196 kilometers, 122 miles. Apogee: 212 kilometers, 132 miles. Inclination: 51.7 degrees. Period: 88. 6 minutes. Topic: Spacewalk. Yeliseyev and Krunov, EVA-1 EVA-1 start, 16 January 1969 EVA-1 end, 16 January, 1.15 UTC Duration, 37 minutes Mission highlights Soyuz 5 was piloted by Commander Boris Volonov and carried flight engineers Alexei Yeliseyev and Yevgeny Krunov as the crew to be transferred to Soyuz 4 for re-entry. The mission plan contains scientific, technical, and medical biological research, testing of spacecraft systems and design elements, docking of piloted spacecraft, and transfer of cosmonauts from one craft to another in orbit. Volonov remained behind on Soyuz 5, and returned to Earth in a remarkable re-entry. The service module of the Soyuz failed to separate after retrofire, but by that point it was too late to abort. While this had occurred on various Vostok and Voskhod flights, it was a much more serious problem for Volonov, as the Soyuz service module was much larger than the small retropact the earlier vehicles employed. When the Soyuz started aerobraking in the upper reaches of the atmosphere, the combined spacecraft sought the most aerodynamically stable position, nose forward, with the heavy descent module facing directly into the air stream with only its light metal entry hatch at the front to protect it. The gaskets sealing the hatch began to burn, filling the compartment with dangerous fumes and smoke. The deceleration, while normal for re-entry, pulled Volonov outward against his harness rather than against the padded seat. As the thermal and aerodynamic stresses on the combined craft increased, struts between the descent and service modules broke off or burned through before the hatch failed. The descent module immediately righted itself once the service module was gone, with the heat shield forward to take the brunt of re entry. There was one final problem in store for Volonov when the parachute cables partially tangled and the soft landing rockets failed, resulting in a hard impact which broke some of his teeth. The capsule came down in the Ural Mountains 200 km 120 miles southwest of Kostanay, near Orenburg, Russia, far short of its target landing site in Kazakhstan. The local temperature was minus 38 degrees Celsius minus 36 degrees Fahrenheit, and knowing that it would be many hours before rescue teams could reach him, Volonov abandoned the capsule and walked for several kilometers to find shelter at a local peasant's house. It would be seven years until Volonov flew again, on Soyuz 21. A similar incident occurred decades later with Soyuz TMA-11, though the latter's landing was not as rough. <inaudible> EVA details The mission had extra-vehicular activity objectives similar to those planned for Apollo 9. 
Soyuz 4 launched first, and was the active vehicle in the docking with Soyuz 5. The news agency TASS stated that, "...there was a mutual mechanical coupling of the ships, and their electrical circuits were connected." Thus, the world's first experimental cosmic station with four compartments for the crew was assembled and began functioning. Moscow TV carried the cosmonauts' EVA preparations live. Kronov and Yeliseyev put on their Yastreb Hawk suits in the Soyuz 5 orbital module with aid from Commander Boris Volonov. Yastreb suit design commenced in 1965, shortly after Alexei Leonov's difficult EVA. Leonov served as a consultant for the design process, which was completed during 1966. Suit fabrication and testing occurred in 1967, but the Soyuz 1 accident in April of that year and Soyuz docking difficulties on the Soyuz 2 and Soyuz 3 missions delayed their use in space until the Soyuz 4 and Soyuz 5 flights. To prevent the suit from ballooning, the Yastreb suit used a pulley and cable articulation system. Wide metal rings around the gray nylon canvas undersuit's upper arms served as anchors for the upper body articulation system. The Yastreb had a regenerative life support system in a rectangular white metal box placed on the chest and abdomen to facilitate movement through the Soyuz's hatchways. Volonov checked out Kronov and Yelisev's life support and communications systems before returning to the descent module, sealing the hatch, and depressurizing the orbital module. Kronov went out first, transferring to the Soyuz 4 orbital module while the docked spacecraft were out of radio contact with the Soviet Union over South America. Yeliseyev transferred while the spacecraft were over the Soviet Union. They closed the Soyuz 4 orbital module hatch behind them, then Soyuz 4 commander Vladimir Shatilov repressurized the orbital module and entered to help Kronov and Yeliseyev get out of their suits. The spacewalkers delivered newspapers, letters, and telegrams printed after Shatilov lifted off to help prove that the transfer took place. Soyuz 4 and 5 separated after only 4 hours and 35 minutes together. See also List of spacewalks Soviet moonshot <laughs>